Hey Lang Fanatics, today I'm going to show you my Sylvania Daylight 60 Watt Incandescent Ceiling Fan Bulb. Now if you take a look at this bulb, you may be able to notice something a little bit odd about it. It has a slightly bluish tint to it, and that is because it is a Sylvania Daylight Bulb. Now these Sylvania Daylight Incandescent Bulbs utilize a blue coating to make the light a little bit more on the light end of the spectrum. You know, not like straight incandescent light, which is pretty yellowish. It'll lighten it out a little bit. And the point of that was to make it feel a little bit more natural and, you know, look a little bit better. And I believe it also makes colors look better as well. And these bulbs were similar in concept to the GE Reveal bulbs. The only difference is that the GE Reveal bulbs use a neodymium glass to produce that white and light. Whereas these use just a straight blue coating, nothing special about it. Well anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this bulb, starting with the base down here. It is a silver colored base with a glass insulator. Here is the bulb itself. It is A15 in shape, so it's a little bit smaller than a standard bulb, which is A19. And these ceiling fan bulbs that are A15 supposedly are a little bit more resilient to the vibration of a running ceiling fan. And for that reason, they will last longer in your ceiling fan. And then here is the etch. It says Sylvania 60 watt daylight 120 volt CSA. Well, anyway, we'll go ahead and screw this bulb into our socket here. Just like so. And I also have the dimmer here today. So, we'll dim this bulb uh, when we get to the testing portion of the video. But anyway, I'll go ahead and turn the lights off and I'll be right back. Alright, I have turned off the lights and it's time to turn on this bulb in free two, one. And there you go. Now, it may just look like just a plain old soft white bulb right now, but I can assure you this is producing a significantly whiter light than an incandescent bulb otherwise would. It's more like halogen light to me than incandescent light. Well, anyway, you can see the filament through the very thin coating on the bulb. It is C-shaped. And here's the X if you want to see that while the bulb is running. Well, anyway, we'll go ahead and come up here and see just how bright the bulb is. And I'd say it's definitely not quite as bright as a 60-watt incandescent bulb. Now, sometimes these A15 bulbs are a little bit dimmer than their A19 counterparts at an equivalent wattage. And also, sometimes these modified spectrum bulbs like this are also a little bit dimmer than standard bulbs. So that might be causing the less lumen output here or whatever. And you can also probably tell that this is more like halogen light than incandescent light. It's got that like 2900K color, which these are like 2850 or 2900K. It's a pretty nice color. Well, anyway, we'll actually come over here. I'm forgetting which knob to undo on my tripod here. But we'll come over here where we have some color and test our CRI. I'd say it's definitely pretty good, just like a regular incandescent bulb would be. Now, supposedly these daylight bulbs have a slightly lower CRI than a standard incandescent bulb. Uh, it's like 91 CRI instead of 99. But I'd say it's absolutely satisfactory. Definitely better than a 82 CRI bulb or whatever, like a CFL or LED bulb would be. Well, anyway, we'll actually come over here as well where we have some more stuff to look at. And you can see the CRI and the lumen output there. Well, anyway, now that we've seen how bright this bulb is and how good its CRI is, we will go ahead and dim it. We'll start by dimming it all the way down to 1%, and we get a very orangey light from it. And next to useless light output. This is not useful for anything. 
Well, anyway, now we will go ahead and bring it up to 50%. And we actually do get some useful light out of this. It still has a significantly yellow or orange color to it than it would otherwise be. But we get a very nice light for at night, you know, to relax, wind down by, you know. Well, anyway, now we'll go ahead and bring it back up to 100%. And we're back where we started. Well, anyway, now suppose we will come back down here. And we will turn this bulb off. Very nice. We get a quick little fade out there. Well, anyway, now I'll go ahead and turn the lights back on. And I'll be right back. Alright, well, the lights are back on now. So, we'll go ahead and unscrew this bulb very carefully. As it is quite warm. And I did not bring a paper towel or anything to aid with that. But anyway, we'll go ahead and take one last look over the bulb, starting with the base bulb itself and its blue tint, and the X, which is on the wrong side there. And there we go. Well, there you have it. The Sylvania 60 Watt Daylight A15 Incandescent Ceiling Fan Bulb. Well, if you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to leave a like down below, and feel free to leave a comment as well. And if you want to see more cool lighting videos in the future, be sure to subscribe. See you next time.